Greetings, Salutations YouTube. It's Hadrian here. How is everyone doing today? Hope you guys are all doing fantastic. Welcome to a new video. Today is a thrift haul video, so I'm super excited to share with you guys some really cool items that I got at the Goodwill. And if you guys are interested in seeing the thrifting video for this particular haul, um, and you love thrifting vlogs and all that, definitely hit the subscribe button, hit the little bell for notifications. I'll have everything linked up there and down below if you guys want to check it out. Um, and don't forget to add me too on Instagram and Facebook. It's Hadrian, just like it's spelled here. And check out my shop at itshadrian.com to see what I have for sale from my thrifting adventures but without further ado let's get into this haul i got some really good stuff that i'm really excited to share with you guys um the first item i'm actually going to start off with the kids toys guys i did get a couple toys for my nephews um now this is the first thing i have this is a thomas and friends like a little set of little trains i actually got one of these already before for eliza he loves thomas he loves trains and so this is going to be his second set this is a new box from target for four dollars and 99 cents they retail for nine dollars so this was half off um, which i think is a pretty good deal kids toys are always expensive and thomas trains are really fun and he loves them and I've never seen them go like for sale in the store other than for a few dollars so half off I think is a good deal so there's that then this one was an amazing deal because I got the same I got this item for the price of those trains and it is this little tykes um, bowling set now this one was originally ten dollars at the Goodwill um, right there but it was an orange tag and orange tags at my particular store um, this week were a um, half off so this was just five dollars and um, I've gotten a couple messages to people saying that um, your stores have like a secret color sale and I think um, we live in maybe Colorado uh, I checked again <laughs> at my store and I was like do you guys have like a secret color that goes on sale and the lady was just like you crazy <laughs> so no unfortunately um here in southern california at least we do not have a secret color that goes on sale that you have to ask about um it's just whatever the color of the week is and they usually make announcements on the intercom and they have like signage around the store saying what colors are for sale for the week so i was really excited about this little tyke thing the kids love bowling um they love going out bowling and this will be like a good way to Allow them to keep the bowling inside the house if they want. Um, actually, we're going to let them use this probably outside. But it's it's perfect. And brand new for $5. You really can't go wrong with this. So I am really excited to give that to them later on. Now, um, now I'm going to start with some home goods that I got from the thrift store. And I'm going to start off with this um, little box right here. So it has like an and sign on there. I got this for $2.99. Um, I tried to take off the sticker to see how much the price was for um, this item when it was still in the store, but unfortunately it was like, ripped off. So I guess this might have been a gift um, that someone donated to the Goodwill. There's a little at sign in there and it's brass um, and they never used it. So this is really cool. It'll make a good paperweight. Um, decorative things set it on top of a pile of books. I think it's really pretty and for two dollars and I can even like gift this to someone if I wanted So if I just left this in the box and then it was someone's birthday or something could be like here happy birthday Or I don't know just a little host hostess gift whatever two dollars and ninety nine cents is nothing to scoff I think that is a good deal especially because West Elm pieces are usually pretty expensive and this probably might have been about 15 to 25 dollars um, at West Elm when it was um, there so really really cool I should actually check the store to see if they still hold, like sell these because I feel like this is something that's pretty cool and current and then up next I was really excited about this especially because I was talking about these pieces um, with mom uh, like fairly recently probably like during this past week um, we got the William Sonoma catalog in and there is like a plethora of like blue and white decorative like pieces everywhere. I feel like all of like the major home decor brands and stuff are doing it. It's on Instagram, it's on Facebook. It's something that I've been obsessed with for a while. Blue and white like decor, plates, stuff like that. And um, in in the catalog there was like a, like a, an array of blue and white vases with flowers and stuff. And then there was one singular like, I think it was like a yellow vase with like flowers. And like it was like in with those blue and white vases and all that, but it was beautiful and stunning. And I was like, you know what? Well, I'm gonna find one of those at the Goodwill. And here it is. Uh, it's so pretty. I think it's 
stunning. It's gonna look perfect with um, my like other blue and white pieces that I already have collected from the Goodwill. Um, and this one was $6.99, which I think is an amazing, amazing deal for this. It's so pretty. I can't wait to style it. Um, so don't forget to subscribe. Uh, check out the vlog for when this goes up. And yeah, there's that. Oh, John's friends are walking down the stairs. I can hear them. Hold on. Okay, sorry about that. So, yeah, this face, so cool, so beautiful. I cannot wait to style it up inside the house, and it's going to look fantastic. So, there is that piece. I'm going to set it down right over here. Then, um, speaking of vases, I also got... A planter and this one was I believe this one was also $5.99 I don't want to turn it over because there's like dirt and stuff inside but it's a really nice planter look at that um it's like clay or something and then it was like finished to look antiqued and kind of old and it's just a rectangle like square it's like a cube um I really really do like it I love the pattern I love the design I love that it looks aged and I'm just gonna put like a plant in here and put it outside in the backyard and I think it's gonna look Really, really nice. So there's that piece. I love finding like interesting and cool looking planters at the Goodwill because they're so expensive when you buy them at the store. And sometimes like I, I know like if you really want something you can't like and you're really going for a look, um, sometimes you gotta go to the full line store. But if you're patient and just wait, a lot of the time you can find something like it, or very similar at the Goodwill. So I've, I've had like that happen a lot of times. So um, just gotta be patient, I think, is one of the key things. Okay, so up next, I had to get this um, martini glass. I don't know exactly what this is. I don't drink alcohol, so I don't really know what all the cups are for. Um, but this was $6, and there is a cool like, silver horse on there and I just noticed that it's chipped but I actually think it's because I chipped it <laughs> so, but it's cool I'm probably never ever gonna drink out of this um I don't know I feel like I don't break things when I'm in the store but like sometimes like transporting it back home I'll break things and I really should start carrying some sort of packaging or something with me because honestly sometimes they don't do like the best job um at the stores because they don't have all the proper like things to package things with but um I thought that this was just so super cool, and I'll probably like just put change in here or something and keep it on my table, um, but it's really, really cute, and I love it so much. So there is this beautiful little horse. I'm really sad that I kind of broke, though, because if I ever like did want to try and use it, like you can totally cut your lip on that, so got to be careful, but it's really cute. So there's that. Oh, okay, up next. This was actually something that I saw... Um, in last, when I was at the thrift store the week before, and it was in the vlog, or it was in a video, and someone messaged me asking me to get it if it was still there, and lo and behold, it was still there, and it is this beautiful platter, and it's so cute. It has, like, the starfish, and it has the fish on it, it has the seashells, it has all that fun nautical stuff, so this is gonna be perfect for summer, and, um... Made in Italy, $5.99, hand-painted, really, really nice. I can imagine, like, oh, I can put, like, lobster on here. Um, I, I can imagine this out of clam bake, and it would be really, really popular. Or you can, like, cook fish and put it in here. That'd be really nice. So, that's really exciting. I love it. I'm so excited that this was still there for um, whoever wanted it. And I think you actually messaged me. I, I, th I saw it, like, really quickly in passing. I really have to look back at my messages, but I'm going to message you back. Um, and we will discuss the platter. Oh, forgot I got these, too. Okay, so I also did get thank you cards. I always pick up thank you cards whenever they're cheap. Um, I believe this is a set of 25 for $1.99, which isn't too bad. So, had to get that. These are pretty nice. They kind of look like they have, like, that linen effect on the paper, which I think is a very nice. And then... Um, I did manage to grab a handbag, and it was behind the register. I love when people, like, because people will, like, bring things, discard things at the register, um, and I always, like, look and see what's behind on, like, the rollback cart or whatever they call it that's back there, 
and this was laying there and it is this beautiful fossil crossbody bag and it's a great size um, and it's black with tan and then this is kind of like um, like a faux lizard print in kind of like a like an off-white and black design. So it's really, really cute. It has so many compartments. It has that pocket, the zipper one, another zipper in the back, and then the main compartment that has like a zipper pocket and then two open pockets. I'm gonna have this one up in the shop if anyone's interested. This one was a little bit pricey at $20, but it's such a great bag and it's in a really, really great condition. So love it, love it, love it so much. And so cute perfect for like every day and that color this you can't really beat this color com this color combination it's like one of my favorites I love when they combine black with a tan and like the tricolor is always appealing so there's that and then I think I have one last item I just have to make sure that I showed everything um okay so this one is the piece de resistance of everything that I found at the store and it's it was in the cover, it was like the, the thumbnail for yesterday's video, and it is, or it is this pair of Bottega Veneta Stiletto Booties. They are gorgeous. They have like a four inch heel. They have the silver hardware with like the clear, like it's very like modern. It's a very, like it has a pointy toe. It's super edgy, super cool. Zips up on the sides. Um, these are a size 9 if anyone is interested. And I got these for the low, low price of $7.99. So I had to get them. Bottega Vanna. These probably ran up. Um, shoes like these normally go around $1,200. And these shoes are in such great condition. They're beautiful. And they're not like super heavy, which is also very nice. Um, and they have very little wear on them. There's not that much wear on the bottom and like the tops like pretty much look new. And they're so gorgeous. They just, I'm just gonna condition them up, clean them up a little bit. And if anyone's interested, these are gonna be up in the shop. Again, remember it's itshadrian.com. But these shoes are so fierce. They're so amazing. So, um, that rounds out today's um, haul. Thank you guys so much for hanging out with me today and checking out all this really cool stuff that I found. I'm so excited. I love thrifting so much. And if you guys do, you guys, if you guys are here, you guys do too. So don't forget to let me know if you guys have found anything really cool recently. I love chatting with you guys um, in my Instagram and like in your uh, comments here on Facebook. It's so much fun. And I love when you guys send me photos. It's so exciting to see what you guys have found because you guys have found some amazing stuff, and I am just like, like I know you guys message me all the time, like oh my gosh, your thrifting is like so like it's not like anything like like we don't have anything like that where I'm from and da da da, da and like, the, but then people like from all over like the U.S. even the world, I have like gotten people messaging me to send me stuff like photos from Philippines, Australia, the U.K. and it's like really exciting that people like all around the world have like messaged me telling me like there's some really great stuff they found and but like eef, Louis Vuitton, Chanel, like that is crazy like just a few days ago someone messaged me so showing me like some Chanel shoes that they got at the Goodwill and it's actually one that I normally go to so it's like amazing I'm so excited that you found Chanel like flats they are so cute like I'm so excited for you um but yeah so Definitely let me know if you guys have found anything really cool recently. I love hearing about your finds. Don't forget to subscribe, hit the little bell button for notifications, and don't forget to tune in tomorrow for a new video. And I'll see you guys bright and early at 7 a.m. Pacific Standard Time. I love you guys so much. And I'll see you guys then. Bye!